back to another video. Um, you've probably seen by the title that it's on this guy here, the, uh, the transporter. Because, yeah, this is going to be one of a couple of part series about the, well, about a Euro trip that um, my partner and I are going to go on. Um, we've already done a Euro trip in this guy. And, uh, yeah, it's been absolutely brilliant. We went down to Dubrovnik in Croatia. We went via Switzerland. Um, yeah, we did a bit of Germany, <clears throat> a bit of Slovenia. Um, but primarily we focused on kind of going from north to south Croatia. And uh, yeah, we, we took the van. It was um, it was really good. I don't think I've showed you around the van yet, so we'll do that. But yeah, what's this video about today? Um, well, we're not leaving for another sort of three and a half weeks. Um, so yeah, the plan is to, I guess, get the van ready. Um, we've got like a, an array of bits to do that. Uh, let me just show you now. Okay, so obviously we're not going to be changing a huge amount. Um, we're going to be doing sort of a bit of an interim service. Um, cabin filter, <clears throat> that's not been done in probably a couple of years now. And the air filter. And yeah, just the standard oil, oil filter. And I've got two wipers because the wipers on the screen are really quite smeary um, and a bit tired. I think they're the original wipers that when I bought the van, that was about seven years ago. Um, yeah, so I think let's get straight into it. So here's the car. Um, obviously it's a 1.9 PD engine, so engine's found in an array of different cars. You know, you've got your Skodas, your Seats, Audi, you know, Volkswagen Passat, just um, all sorts really. So it's, it's an absolute brilliant lump of an engine. Um, as I say, we've had the van probably about seven years and um, it just never goes wrong. A bit dirty. That's uh, the remains of mice or rats that got into the engine bay um, a few months ago when it was in storage. Uh, but yeah, it's fine. No damage done. Anyway, I'm digressing. Um, okay, I think we better warm the van up. So uh, let's pop the garage door up. Should fire straight up. It's nice and warm. Oh. There's no key. Oh, there it is. So Set that warm up. Right, run the engine. 10 minutes. That's uh, a plenty warm, that is. It's, uh, it's a bit of a tight squeeze getting in my pit when I've got the van here, because I don't have a huge amount of room, but I do have a ladder, so let's, uh, let's climb down. Have a look at Ganders. Look at this action shop. Health and safety. There's the sun plug. So, um, yeah, oh, it's lovely and warm that is. That'll come out nice. Um, got the tray down here already. Already prepared. So, yeah, let's crack that off. Um, the way off of the socket and then I think it's crossed it's trouble free doesn't matter if the sun plug goes in because you can fish it out with a magnetic tool but it'd be good if we can just there we go get it in one just hold the drip tray here for a bit I know that when I take the oil cap off there'll be a bit more loss of a vacuum in the crankcase so it will then shoot out a bit more but I think pretty much probably a few of you now wanting to use the toilet if you're watching this <laughs> although if you go to the toilet and it looks like that you go see a doctor but um some of you may notice when I was cracking off the sunplug the gearbox has a slight weep uh, although it's coming from the drive shaft oil seal the offside one so the Slightly longer one with the carrier bearing. Yeah, I don't think, I think it looks a lot worse than it is. I think it's just a slight weep. So I'm gonna to top it up and see how much oil it actually uses. If it's 100 mil, or, you know, I know the gearboxes don't take a huge amount, a couple of liters probably. We'll, uh, we'll see how much and then keep an eye on it. But yeah, we're back at the top side, um, letting the oil just trickle into the sump. So yeah, the next thing to do, I've got to crack the oil filter housing top off. Um, and that 
that's actually quite a big size socket. Now from memory, I think it's 36. I keep a few biggish things out here, but actually, if you look over here, I've got an entire drawer dedicated to big sockets. Excuse the mess. I've got some monsters in there. And I think I've got one that has half inch adapter, 36 mil, and that should go right on. So, right, let's see if this pipey goes on. Definitely 36, it's nice and snug in there, so we can get an extension bar on. Right, so I've got an extension bar, and an extension bar. Get my ratchet. I had to stop mid undoing there because the uh, the ring went off. My postie arrived, it's a bit of post for us. Don't know what it is. He probably don't care about that, do you? So, yeah. There we go, easy as that when you've got the tools. As I say, 36 mil socket and a couple of extensions and that thing will come straight out. So let's lift it out. Oh, can you hear that? So with the filter undone, to see it will just pop out. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's down there. So they do actually clip into the um, sort of the top of the housing. Um, always make sure you've got blue towel. I mean, I don't care if you get all over your place, but I like to keep things tidy here. Um, yeah, so to pull the filter out, that should dry it up onto the blue towel. So this is what happens over time, especially if you use, I guess, cheaper oil filters. Yeah, so, yeah, basically what happens is obviously it's like a paper kind of cartridge and it just starts to bend, go a bit wavy and then eventually they sort of collapse in on themselves. Um, but that's okay. I change mine once a year and it'll be absolutely fine. Okay, so filters out of the housing. Um, yeah, I've got a bit of residue from where the engine has been breathing. Um, I wouldn't say it's got excessive blow bar or anything. I think it's absolutely fine. Um, but you know, I haven't cleaned this in, I don't know, probably a year. So yeah, you're always gonna have a little bit of oil vapor and that's absolutely fine to have. Um, obviously if you were running the engine and you undid the oil cap and it shot off and it was chuffing and pushing excess steam out, I mean, yeah, you'd have an issue, but this isn't the case. And we'll show you that later. Okay, yeah, so as we showed you um, a few seconds ago, the old oil filter is out and new filter's ready. It comes with a little O-ring that goes around the top. It comes with a replacement big O-ring that will whip the old O-ring off the housing off, giving that a bit of a clean. Again, yeah, so with the old oil filter, what I like to do is you know, let it seep into a bit of blue roll. Use the old box for transporting it. Where are we transporting it? Well, we're going to transport it somewhere safe somewhere where it can't you know hurt the earth hurt any animals i'm only kidding that bin is just temporary storage for stuff that's going to go down to the tip and be disposed of accordingly so yeah look after the animals so yeah new oil seal is on and um all lubed up i just use a little bit of three in one people say oh, it needs to be engine oil it doesn't it just needs to be oil any oil cooking oil whatever actually hold that thought probably not cooking oil uh, although in terms of cooking oil i like a bit of rapeseed oil uh, but that's enough about my cooking habits so yeah a bit of oil on the seal and um, as i mentioned before this should have been sort of clipped in uh, when we pulled it out so there you go that's what i was expecting when i pulled the housing out right got the oil filter ready to go back in i've got to mention actually that little o-ring at the top yeah you need to make sure that's oiled as well just oil everything but um, yeah, this is by no means not how to video. This is just me getting ready for a trip of a lifetime. Oh, let's pick that up. Seeing it live, seeing it live. This is pretty awkward. And there we go. I'm gonna have to do this with two hands. Hear the click? Just try try again. Okay, that's fine. It's not going to go anywhere. Hey, okay, so yeah, back under the car. 
well, the van. Um, and yeah, I think the oil is pretty much done draining. Um, usually when you buy an oil filter kit, sometimes they come with a crush washer for your sump plug. Um, mine didn't, and yeah. So I'm still gonna reuse all this. Um, you probably see there a bit of residue from silicone. I think I reused it before. Can you see me? Yeah, so this is what I've done to the sump plug. Cleaned it up, put some of the uh, Loctite on, which is resistant to oil. This is copper silicone, so yeah, a bit of money in there, boy. Um, yeah, so we're gonna basically take the rag out and yam the sump plug in, nip it up. That's all there is to it. Suck it on there. Again, keep that excess away. Now I need to nip it up, which I realise my ratchet is up there. There we go. Just, you just want to nip it. Or you could use a torque wrench, which someone more clever than me would suggest. Um, but when you've been working on cars, as long as I have, which, well, in fairness, it's only 20 years now. Um, you just know sometimes how, how tight things should be. Um, I reckon if I've gone any harder, that would have sheared off, so fingers crossed, that's all done. Okay. Now the uh, engine's ready to fill back up. Whilst we're down here, we might as well give all this a clean, bottom of the gearbox. There we go, all clean, all bone dry. Um, yeah, we'll keep an eye on that that leak um, but I'll top it up for now and uh, yeah a bit of a controversial subject with oil leaks because obviously this was covered in oil vapour and you know look how fresh that is part of the chassis um, and then if we go to this bit here that obviously didn't have oil on it you can see it's starting to rust up so it's probably worth mentioning obviously um, I'm very fortunate that I made myself an inspection pit uh, that you might have seen in other videos um, but yeah, it's a good opportunity. It, what's going on there? What is that? It's just like a void in there. I think to know what that is. It's obviously a plastic surround of, for nothing. Um, I wonder if water tanks go in there in the Californias. Yeah, it's a pretty big void. Um, it's really interesting that. But yeah, obviously, you know, I've spotted something there. Is that an issue? No, it's fine. Uh, but it's a good time, you know, if you're planning a trip, um, maybe get friendly with, you know, your local garage. Say, can you put it up on a ramp or just pay them 20 quid just to give it a quick once over. Um, condition of the fuel tank. These are plastic on these, so um, yeah, shouldn't have any problems with those. Um, although that was plastic and uh, what is that? Let's not worry about that. Um, yeah, you know, check your exhaust is still structurally sound what's going on there don't worry about that um yeah just just give everything a quick once over you know handbrake cable um i mean you'll know your handbrake's not working because your fan or whatever will start rolling backwards but um, um yeah generally maintenance is pretty good on the van um did those six months ago the anti-roll bar bushes at the front um did the ball joints that was about seven eight months ago check these springs you can see them probably easy to check them up top just yeah just give everything a quick check over and think is this going to fall over within the next couple of thousand miles um or is it going to be fine i think the van's going to be fine it's been really reliable i've done about fifty thousand miles trouble free and i don't doubt it'll give me another fifty thousand miles um now i've only got five liters here but i do have an oil store with various grades of different oils all new so yeah i'll top it up with the 0.4 liters after that but at least i'm safe in the knowledge i can pour that whole five liter bottle in and there won't have any problems right so i've prepared the area for pouring oil again using the blue roll um, i mean you can use a funnel which i'm probably going to pour in a sec but you should oh straight straight around everywhere that's fine that um, I like to turn the bottle on its side as well, um, the reason being it lets the air get in behind the oil a lot easier. So obviously all five litres have gone in, um, I need to do the 0.4 litres next. Um, 
So we've got the 5.4 litres of oil in. Um, we'll yeah pop the obviously the oil cap back on. Okay, moment of truth. Let's follow the old girl up. Always check it's in neutral. And I'll check that before. Find the key. Check it again. You can never check enough in my opinion. Okay, so um, yeah, oil's done. Feels like it took forever. I find when you're filming stuff, everything takes about four times as long. Um, so I think we'll get down in the pit and uh, yeah, just make sure everything's tickety-boo. Yeah, so that's all good. A little bit of heat will help the um, silicone dry. Um, yeah, nothing untoward. So let's mark that as done. We're all done. Um, next thing we're gonna tackle is the old air filter. Yeah, first thing we'll pull the math sensor plug off. Gonna get some grips around here. Take that away, and then the air filter box has a couple of clips that I can undo with my hands, and then we'll get that out. There we go, the box is off, super quick and easy to get off. Um, yeah, so here's the old air filter. It really isn't too bad at all. Um, it was changed probably ah, just over a year ago now. There's the new one. If we do comparison, again, it's really not that bad. There'll be a few little nuggets and things in there. It doesn't have to be pristine. Just get the new one in there. And be all good. Doing stuff one handed whilst filming is quite awkward. It makes the job look about 10 times as hard. So air filter's back in. So we've done oil filter, air filter, oil. That's the three, I guess, main components for the running of the engine. Um, going to do the wipers next. Okay, so yeah. Old wipers off, Michelin ones, like an aero blade, very nice. Um, obviously, split at the ends. Um, these are the replacements. The brand is Starline. Um, they were like super cheap. New wipers on, ready to rock and roll. Right, so yeah, once you take this panel off and you go under here, you can see the old pond filter. Mine has not been changed in a little while, so. I'd imagine, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, I think this one was long overdue. Definitely. Okay, yeah, so you can clearly see the difference between new one and old. I mean, I thought that was just like a grey colour, but no. That is just all dirt, so yeah, this one will be most welcome. Let's get it fitted. So it turns out there is actually a special way it goes in. There's a little bit of a lip on the back edge there, and it just slides into a little groove, so you'll know if it doesn't fit. But yeah, that will go up and bolt in nicely. And there we go, all bolted back in. Well, there we have it. Done the basics on the van. Uh, what have we done? Oil, oil filter, air filter, and pollen filter. So yeah, I mean, it's not a huge amount, but I think essential if you're going on a long distance trip, which is what we're planning to do. Um, yeah, so I think I'm probably gonna cut the video there. Um, my next video, I'm gonna take you through what I take uh, for long distance trips. So I don't really wanna give too much away. Um, not that it's that interesting. So I just kind of want to take you through um, some of the spares and fluids and tools and stuff that I take in the van. Um, I wouldn't say it takes up a huge amount of space. It looks like quite a lot on the table, but yeah, that will be uh, in my next video, uh, which is like part two of uh, getting ready for the European trip. Um, yeah, so that's me. See you later.